Welcome to the stream, everyone. Welcome in. Glad you could be here tonight. It's me, your old pal, Decap Jedi, and I am here tonight with a game I've never played before, one I'm very excited for, Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. Now, I am a pretty diehard Indiana Jones fan, and of course, a pretty diehard fan of point-and-click adventure games, and more specifically, a pretty big fan of LucasArts adventure games. So the question I've been asking myself all day, and maybe the question you're asking is, um, how did it take me so ding dang long? Like, what is this? Like, thirty two years to get around to playing Indiana Jones: The Fate of Atlantis, a, a a game that a lot of people really like. Uh, I don't have a good answer to that. I guess I just hadn't gotten around to it. You know, I'm a busy guy. I've got a lot of stuff going on. You know, it's uh, it's hard to carve out time for you know like a a four hour long game over the course of uh, of thirty two years or so. But now I'm here. Now I'm ready. Now it's happening. We are here tonight to play Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis. And I'm so glad that all of you could join me. Welcome, man. Grayson, thank you for the resub. Good to see you, Pickled Dog. Ben, there's Jakob Bean. Paul, oh my goodness, look at this crowd. There's Stock Matawi. Yeah, never played this one before, Matawi. It is a wild blind spot, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is unexpected. Hell Atlantis to you as well, Jason. <laughs> RJ. It does have some Nazi punching, so uh, we'll get around to that. Hey, Ricky, Red Wing, good to see everybody. This is a great crowd out already. I'm so glad you could all be here. Uh, we have some exciting uh, redemptions tonight uh, out there for channel points and a brand new sticker I'm very excited about as well. Hey! FF Hitman, thank you so much for two full years. That's amazing. I appreciate the support. Let's... Uh, Oh, wait, here we go. Okay, before we get started, everyone pump the brakes, pump the brakes. Red Wing has redeemed Indiana Jones stock photo review. <laughs> so I kind of today was just digging around on Adobe's stock photo database looking for Indiana Jones photos. And I realized that there are a lot of stock photos that are tagged with the keyword Indiana Jones that maybe bear some resemblance to Indiana Jones, but don't what stick the landing. So I thought maybe this redemption, Indiana Jones stock photo review, would be a great chance for me to maybe just uh, take a look at some of these and, and see where they went right and more importantly, where they went wrong. So here's our first one of the evening. Now, here we go. This is a stock photo from the Adobe stock photo database labeled Indiana Jones. So what we have here, I mean, there's some things that are okay. Um, the hat is on point and the jacket looks pretty good. And he's got a little like tiki idol tucked under his arm, which I like that. That's a nice touch. Good prop. Um, where this one goes wrong for me, there are three things that immediately leap out. Um, plaid shirt. That looks like a shirt I would wear 1000%. Like, in fact, I might use like Google reverse image shirt and order that or search and or order that shirt after the stream. Uh, shirt, though, plaid, not Indiana Jones. I can't imagine Indiana Jones wearing that shirt. Uh, second issue I have, uh, those are cargo pants. And while Indiana Jones would probably appreciate pockets, uh, he wouldn't have to carry around that gas mask uh, bag that he usually does. Um, I feel like the cargo pants throw it off for me. And then the last thing is that whip looks really short and really plasticky. I don't know that that is a well-worn whip of an adventure. This is a good try, though. I'm I mean, y'all haven't seen the collection I've put together of these stock photos. By the standards of this collection of stock photos, this guy is a solid seven. And he's also got some really nice cheekbones going for him. So I'm going to give you some points there as well. Uh, so, yeah, that's we're going to call that about a seven out of ten uh, on the grand scheme of things. But that is our first Indiana Jones stock photo review. Please, I'd love to do more of these as the stream goes on. Even small like that, you can see the whip is off. It's Tennessee Smith. It's Nevada Bob. Is that the old like Apogee game or whatever? There we go. He win the office costume contest. That is exactly right, Paul. That is the level of uh, <laughs> that is the level of performance we're looking at there. Let's start the ding dang game. Lucas Arts. I've heard great things about these guys. Oh, we got pallet cycling on the logo. Doo -doo 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 -doo. 
Mario digging it. Who doesn't love a little Raiders March? Indy is like an American James Bond. That's a great way to put it, Ben. If you're not familiar with uh, with Indiana Jones, he's a lot like a John Glames or a James Bond figure. All right, Jones. How are you going to find that statue and all this junk? Hmm, statue hunting, eh? Hmm. Urn. It's some kind of funeral urn. Statue. It's a stone carving of Shiva. It's a stone carving of Shiva. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. This is a very good Indiana Jones voice. It's a genuine candlestick. Genuine candlestick? Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Ohio? Oof. Oh no, Andy's dead. Oh no. Ah, oh, beans. Okay, he's alright. He's up, guys. And shelves on shelves on shelves. Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. Man, Marcus is catching strays so far. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Caping hole. <laughs> this is a great intro. I love this. What fun. That's nice animation, Jim McCloud. Books on tools. I've read them all. You know, that's one of the most frequent questions students ask me when they come into my office. Like all professors, I have several bookshelves full of like books I've collected through grad school and years of teaching and everything. And students who come to my office frequently look at them and say, have you read all those books? And usually I respond, I don't even know how to read. I don't need them, they're just textbooks. Yes, my office is very spacious like this. Uh, absolutely, lots of windows. It's an old lecture hall desk. Hey, six, seven, thank you so much. Oh, this one does belong in the museum. These books don't look familiar. Uh oh. Uh. Uh. Just like the Trixie and Katya podcast. Uh. Yeah, the Amuse sound engine does work Better beautifully. Get that roof check. If I did this much damage on campus, I would be fired in a heartbeat. A cheap copy of a Siamese idol. Ah, Cole, shoot. Looks pretty slippery. Mm. <laughs> Actual cat. Yeah, I didn't expect that. And these scenes look amazing. What nice backgrounds. Looks so much better than the 256 color version of Last Crusade. Oh, there is R2-D2. Look at that. Poinous. It's hot. Yep. You got me there, Indy. A fine sample of bitumen. Bite too, man. I don't even know him. I'll be. It's a Here's cat. I've been searching for. Oh. Cross the Coronado. Horny statue. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. Wow. 
We did it, gang. We finished the game. Are we at Barnett College? Marshall College? Where's he at at this point? Hey, expect problems. Good to see you. Ooh, you have the big box copy. Hey, A for Ventus. Welcome, man. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all well, Dr. Charles. Exploring uh -oh. our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Hmm. Tell me. Did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. I mean, I don't want to assume that the what first German accent in the game's a Nazi, but... Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. My word, India, a small metal bead. A small metal us. bead. I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take Ah, it. beans. We couldn't trust Better. that German. Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. For his place. Curse your sudden but inevitable <laughs> patrol. And the animation in this is top notch. He got away. But we got his coat, Marcus. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. I knew it. I knew it. He's from what is Dieseldorf. The the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Old, eh? Oh, what else our friend was carrying? An old copy of National Archaeology. And there you are in Iceland. Yep. That's us. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston. Wow. against her family. Shots fired. Hey, OSU. Where is she now? She gave up archaeology to become a psychic. How odd. You can say that again. It's a good point, A for Ventus. Uh, Germans are notorious Indeed. for calling their Turner country Germany. Her. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Well, that's a good line. That felt very Indiana Jonesy. Uh, yeah, absolutely, Ben. That's good stuff. Okay, we're at Barnett College. Good. Man, did we just land in uh, <laughs> Dagger of Amun Ra? Blow that music. Imagine the suckers who actually pay to see Sophia's Lost World lectures. Got all of our verbs in the proper order over here. You love to see it. It's today's paper. It's today's paper. I mean, yes. I don't think that'll work. It doesn't seem to open. There's no eat icon. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> yeah, like me. Indy never learned to read. Oh, you look at that scrolling background. Fire escape, eh? Maybe I should save here, huh? This is your save key. There we go. Save. Start. I don't know why I do that uh, opening scene again. I do have a full keyboard. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. 
Mm. Who am I going to murder to get in? But no seats, no standing room, no exception. Well, I will just proceed in. <laughs> I like this theory, Krieg, and if you can die, it just automatically makes this CR game no matter who developed it. The way looks blocked. The way looks blocked. Well, I'm not moving crates. It's not that kind of game. I'm sorry. It won't go any further that way. It won't come any further toward me. Like the way looks blocked. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. The way looks blocked. Yeah, starting out with multiple options is pretty good. <laughs> good evening, I'm Chubby Chase. <laughs> That's right. It's a cameo appearance from most of the Chevy Chase show. Chevy Chase! Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you, Pickle Dog. <laughs> you can't believe I got him, right? What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. You Darwinian nightmare, good lord. I'm here to enjoy Madam's outrageous orations. This ain't that kind of show. Wow. Here she's practicing sophistry in public. I think there's a misunderstanding here. Are you calling me stupid? No sorry. No sorry. Lucky for you. Now get lost. Amscray. Wait a minute. Yeah, what for? I really need to talk to your star. Stop, you're breaking my heart. It's a matter of life and statuary. Help me out here, will you? I would, but she'd have my head. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? We're gonna get this. I really need to talk to your star. Stop, you're breaking my heart. I've got to see her. She's the most wonderful woman. You and everybody else, pal. Get around, pal. You're talking about my idol. Well, throw me the idols. I'll throw you the whip. No kidding. I think she's the greatest. Me too. Dang something about her. Yeah, she's very pretty. That goes without saying. Good night. Wait. I've Wait almost solved your puzzle. Why won't you take no for an answer? I really need to talk to your star. Another admirer. That's right. Yeah, she's very smart. Smart? I'll say. You know what I really like? It's the way she... She... Well, she tosses her head when she laughs. When she hires poor Neanderthals like you. The way you. she makes things easy to understand? That's it. All that smart stuff seems so easy when I'm listening to her. This hey, is great. you're okay for a college boy. Come on in. I did it. Oh, thank you. Uh, skip auto save or wait. There's Sophia. Is that Mothman? I think the Mothman's here. Ding dang, ding dang Viking Mothman. Excuse me. Aha! You must be the new doorman. About time they got rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. Wow. 
All that fraud I'll over here. Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Joke's on you. I don't know how to read. Would you like a newspaper? Excuse me. Think it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in its heyday. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Way down below the ocean. Beyond our wildest dreams. Oh, look at that. That's like that stealth bomber we went after in James Bond. Everyone else still wore animal skins. The mighty spirits of Atlantis dared to build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. That's true. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean and described how it was divided into three circular parts. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Such as you see here. Yes. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. And she's really charmed everyone, hasn't she? Was that really reused concept art from Loom 2? Is that true? Wait! She's just coming to the exciting part. Okay, not what true. Good to know. Serene city? We may never know for sure. Climate change. Was it the sea level slowly See? creeping higher? I told you or so. The earth itself suddenly shifting. However it happened, panic must have gripped the citizens. On that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or F's in the chat Perhaps for it was Atlantis. A volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. On some questions, the great spirit who guides my thoughts, the all seeing Nurab Sal, is silent. Nurab Sal? I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. What if I shot her? Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I've got a magazine here. So you do. <laughs> Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life. <laughs> Don't you ever read? Wow, that's kind of rude. Sure, it's a hobby of mine. How'd you like this old copy of National Archaeology, bursting with facts about Madame Sophia's past? No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. Wow. This guy's the real deal. He's not kidding when he says he reads things. Take this newspaper. Here. You ding dong. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Well, I'll watch the lights. This is just like Curse of Monkey Island. I know what to do from here. Hmm, nothing happened. Maybe I should go back to when everything was all green. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through... Uh... May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of... Of... Uh-huh. Deceit. Deceit. No. Indiana Jones? You've got some nerve. Go back, you big jack-o'-lantern. I think that that's what all women say to Indiana Jones. Oh, great. You've got some nerve. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. Oh, man, she doesn't mince words. I'd say it's about time. Yeah, Sophia's oh, no! great so far. Looks like Kerner got here first. Stay put. Stay puffed. Oh man, I watched Ghostbusters Frozen Empire the other day. Here. And it's awful. 
Dang, it wasn't good. Nor here either. I really liked Afterlife. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. Dr. Uberman. Hey. Ooh, new Ghostbuster game. That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen the newspaper? Listen to this. Oh, Germans no. claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. They have a wizard? Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announced his plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? So? Practical results are years away. Sounds like they're dreaming to me. Of course they are. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Hit those all caps. Be serious. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. That's a really mean thing to say. Hey, you've ever published a word. Oh, snap. Publisher Paris showed Sophie, I'm sorry. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Huh. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. <laughs> what do you know? I like how many custom animations there are in this. Kerner missed the grand prize. What? My necklace. Watch wow. closely. Look at this lady. The bead is made of auric calcum. Origami got it. First mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Um, 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 um. I like to imagine she's just jumping up and down now. Did you see that? Nope. Yeah, creepy. Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. It's always hard to make a really good sequel. Uh, sequel. Avatar set obsession aside, I'll always respect James Cameron because he managed to catch lightning in a bottle twice. Titanic and Titanic 2. Nurha what? Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't. <laughs> oh, Aliens and Terminator 2. That makes more sense. Yeah, it's both fantastic sequels that improve on their original in some pretty key ways, I would argue. Atlantis has been underwater for centuries. Shh. And he just accepts that it something. exists. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? A, b a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another fine myth. The book is a legendary hoax. I think Plato just wanted to tell a tall tale. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Once in college, uh, a friend and I did a uh, stage performance of Plato's Allegory of the Cave for a talent show that went on like a good 10 minutes that involved like a spotlight on the stage and moving objects in front of it and a philosopher king. And it had to be awful for anyone watching. It was there only to entertain us. And what a bad idea. How did the Nazis get interested in Iceland? Antiquities dealers probably told them about me. 
Nice friends you have. Who's working there these days? I was entertained. I was entertained. You're in Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. You're in Heimdall, eh? What do you say? He's seen it all. I thought you'd never ask. I like her little hair flip. Good hair flip. Ah, uh, we're doing more map stuff. Gordon Hamdahl, yeah. He, I mean, that could be someone from any country. Any region of the world. Wow, it really did move my save. That's kind of cool. Let's see. We'll call this Baby Bjorn. Yeah, a good Indiana Jones style map is hard to beat, isn't it? Said, look at the encampment. Don't go to it, Indy. It looks like someone's still living here. Hey, Sophia. Yes? Cold enough for you? Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. Wow. Remember this place? The Jastro Expedition. How could I forget? The Jastro Expedition, eh? What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. Oh man, Clil, that is a very good hair flip. <laughs> that is a very good hair flip emote. Man, I wish I had that now. Sophia. Yes? No time for love, Dr. Jones. What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. It doesn't seem to open. Doesn't seem to open. To the old dig site. You're just joining us. It's Indiana Jones, the Fave of Atlantis. Glad you could be here. We're having all kinds of fun with a game I've never played before. We've got a brand new sticker, one that's very appropriate for uh, for the game. A fun new redemption, where we look at stock photos that purport to be Indiana Jones. All the fun tonight. Hey, Agent Cooper, this game does- Hello. Oh. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my site now. Go away. Get away. All right, now we have an important redemption. Uh, we have Paul coming in hot with the stock photo Indiana Jones challenge. This is where we're going to go in and we're going to consider a stock photo drawn from the Adobe stock photo library uh, that's tagged with <laughs> the name Indiana Jones. So uh, let's uh, let's pull up another one here and see what we think. We're going to grade this on how good of an Indiana Jones we're dealing with here. So here we have an interesting case of Indiana Jones. So what we've got going right, it's a decent hat. I think the hat is good. Um, the leather on the jacket is a little too shiny for me. Like it reads as motorcycle jacket a little bit too much. And then, you know, last time around, the shirt was wrong. It was a plaid shirt on our last case. So they did solve that here by going with what appears to be no shirt. Um, so that's good. I think that's a step in the right direction. Um, but I don't know. I mean, we're missing, like, I think maybe a whip is what's needed here. Maybe the, yeah, that's right, Jason. That's exactly what's wrong. We need a whip here to really sell this as Indiana Jones. <laughs> that has to be uncomfortable with a leather jacket and nothing on underneath. But, you know, uh, sometimes fashion is pain. Um, six, seven, why do you think a whip in this uh, in this model's hands would give people the wrong idea? What, what could possibly uh, could be going on there? I mean, uh, yeah, this is a pretty good Indiana Jones. You know, I'm going to score this one. I think 
for me, this is about a six out of 10. I'm going to say, again, this is above average in terms of stock photos that claim to be of Indiana Jones, but legally are distinct from Indiana Jones. So we're going to give this one a, uh, a solid six. Now, I do think she has a certain like mischievous glint in her eye that gives me a little Indiana Jones. So that's that's knocking her up maybe a whole point there. Um, but yeah, I'm going to say this is a, a solid six. You know, if that jacket looked a little more, uh, you know, wor- like sort of, I don't know, like worn in, uh, if it was a little bit more broken in, I guess is the phrase I'm looking for. Maybe we could go all the way up to a seven on this. But uh, there you go. That is uh, Indiana Jones stock photo review uh, in 20 minutes or so. That redemption will roll around again, uh, and we'll be right back to it. Oh, ask Jess anything. This is good. Before we get, I mean, the game's important. We're enjoying the game, but we have a lot of important business to get done. Uh, Kevin asks in the chat with ask Jess anything. What did you have for dinner? Uh, tonight, uh, we had a softball game tonight. I had a softball for dinner. Um, we uh, we got it a little bit late, and I had a frozen pizza from Aldi uh, that I shared with my wife. Uh, it was a fig and goat cheese thin crust pizza, and it was delicious. If you're in Aldi and see a fig and goat cheese pizza, uh, I highly recommend it. That's what I had for dinner with a Coke Zero. So that is uh, that is the story of my dinner. Thank you for asking. What'd you have for dinner, gang? If anyone had something awesome for dinner, just tell me. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was, obviously now I'm not. You got a point there. Ooh, saltines and Pedialyte. Oh, Metallia, I'm sorry you've been sick. I will say, is there really much in the world that tastes a whole lot better than a good saltine? I mean, I love me a saltine. Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I like solitude. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of hyperborea. That's what the Greek. Oh, isn't that where Conan the Barbarian's from? You've read how they sailed north to a fog-shrouded land, and how they never set foot upon it? Ha! <laughs> After traveling thousands of miles, mere fog wouldn't turn them back. Some idiots claim they've ever tailed Ah, uh, close. There we go. Puppycock, you know what actually stopped them, John? Ooh, ground pork with cabbage and a tortilla. Sign me up for that. I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Well, yes, and this over to Sophia. Forget it. I'll just tell you. They were stopped by a first field put here by beings not of this earth. Oh, man. Like crystal skull beings? Mm, that's fascinating, Doctor. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Pilates Lost Dialogue? But why did these beings show up here? Chicken breast and lentil stew. These travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a state part. Hyborian age is Conan saying. Good, 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 good. It's a perfect landing site. Well, gotta find those other spaceports. Good luck, fellow believer. I just mess with this guy. Dr. Heimdall. You again. Must you buy your me? <laughs> just say Pilates lost dialogue. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Try the Yastro expedition. The one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it. Pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Hot Atlantean. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. Where did you say those pieces come from? Oh, yeah. If it's artifacts of Atlantis, you ran. There are two people you might want to visit. Yeah? Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady fellow. But very clever. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. The Azores? The torture is a farce, but he's a sharp trader. 
So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you want. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. What is this thing you're working on? Tell me more. The bronze eel here? Uh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward species. Probably. Soon I'll have it out of the ice. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book. But a bit. I'll get to see it. Talk to Sternhardt and Costa. I'll do no such thing. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. Let's talk to Sophia. Excuse me. Yeah, step away from What's that weirdo. What's on your mind? I think the good <laughs> doctors got <laughs> frostbite of the brain. I'll say, spaceman, my eye. I'll just grab it from the ice with my strong hands. I don't want to interfere with Dr. Heimdall. I'll just whip this out of the ice. I don't think that'll work. Well, not with that attitude, it won't. Oh, man, I really want to, like, whip this crate out from under him and make him fall down. Be hilarious. Set for the airport. Ooh, where to now, gang? What do we think? It must be cousin India Fortune. Azores to call? Is there a better strategy? Or should we just go back to New York? Get a slice. Hey, I'm pizza in here. Hmm. Azores or Tikal. <laughs> don't spell or spend your cash card. Uh, don't remind me of Zach McCracken. Still mad at that game. I hate to be a Zach McCracken hater. Here we are. This game is the reason you visited the Azores in 2019. Is that legit? Grace, I have to admit, I missed the episode of Adventure Tuesday where Azores came up as a uh, topic of conversation. Since I've only heard the uh, the references to it, I want to know more about this. Grace, if you could please just tell us all of your Azores experiences. He's too fast for me. That critter's too far away. Oh, what an absolute jerk. Yeah, how heroic. Oh man, now we've got some real Space Quest 2 action going on. Good old Mother Nature. Okay, this is amazing. Sarah made some reference to the Azores because she knew this game. 
it just spiraled from there and I was like, this place seems great. And I had some paid time off and just wanted to go somewhere. So you went to the Ding Dang Azores. It's amazing. So they weren't just created for this game you're telling me. That is really cool, Grace. That is the best story ever. I've been afraid to ask uh, because it comes up periodically over on Adventure Tuesday. And by the way, if y'all aren't following uh, Adventure Tuesday, that, let me give a shout out here to uh, our pal Ben. He and Grayson and Sarah stream adventure games every Tuesday night over at PS underscore Garrick. Be sure to go give them a follow if you aren't already. Rubber tree. Wow, some bridge. Hi, Indy. Hello. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I what I call it. Like Luke and Bush. <laughs> Bushwhackers. Luke and Bitch. Bitch. What do we do now? We better find Sternhard. My real mom. Just a minute. That's my shop. Can I help you with something? Postcard. Great voice Get acting across the board the temple, here. Souvenir marks. Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhard, PhD, independent thinker, researcher, and merchant. That's exactly how I introduce myself. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. This has never come up, 6 seven. Oh, no! I do. What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. PhD stands for Piled Higher and Deeper. I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy, you're surrounded by it. Proof? Now that's hard. <laughs> I occasionally tell my students about the distinction between uh, evidence and proof. Does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. Public high school diploma, that's right. I have, uh, speaking of which, I have a talk scheduled next week where I've been asked to go to a local high school and deliver a class to the students there. And I am incredibly nervous because I don't know what to Thanks. say. We just like to look around in front of Go ahead. Go high school right ahead. students. That scares me to death. I don't know why, but I'm Listen. deeply bothered by the thought. Yes. What can you tell us about the temple? Rumors have it that the temple was built by survivors of Atlantis. Tell me more about the rumors you mentioned. What do you want to know? It's true, they all play Minecraft, so I should be good there. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. Oh man, you know, I've already gotten papers submitted that I'm almost certain were written entirely in chat GPT and it's such a bummer um and luckily they're usually bad enough papers that I can just give them a bad grade and not call out the student for using it or at least not directly call them out but it's just so so depressing and sad what are men who are not men Devo I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. <laughs> this game is terrific. I love this. Do you actually believe Atlanteans lived here? 
After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. Can we take a look inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I'm a PhD right here. I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or, or possibly a cat. Uh, the Actually, dog's name was Indiana. Dog. Oh. Sophia. Sophia is wonderful. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Clusius Maximus. The Hippocrates. Hippocrates! Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer. Hmm. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Hippocrates? Hippocrates! Our father of medicine! Yes. Echo. Echo. This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Well now, well let me now. guess. Hey. Yes? You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? Um, no thanks. Then what can I do for you? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. You have to admit, I accidentally looked the other day at how many hours I have played Fortnite, and it has caused a real existential crisis for me. I didn't realize it had gotten so bad, but there I was, and I was confronted. Never ever look at how many hours you've played. Yeah, no, never look at Slash played. Never ever um, confront the, and then here's what you definitely don't do. You don't look at how many hours you played, and for God's sake, do not divide it by 24. Whatever you do, because then you've broken it down into days. And now you're confronted with something that really, really upsets you. Like, why I looked at it, I'll never know. Why I went on to divide it by 24, oh, it was, uh, it was troubling. It was troubling, gang. I don't know the title. Title! Well, at least you're an honest man. Yeah, I mean, that was sort of my inclinations like i should Stop. never ever play this again begging your pardon you can't go in there the temple isn't safe unsafe temples are my deal excuse me yes if i something about eight for a work day or 12 for days of wakefulness yeah i mean again yeah, that's getting worse and worse okay yeah there it is yeah gta 5 online 38 days, you don't want to know that kind of thing because then you have to confront stuff like what could you have done with a month of your life? Uh, that's why, yeah, you just can't do it. You can't do it. Does it make sense to divide by 24 if you don't play by? Well, I mean, it at least gives you how many, the equivalent of how many days you're looking at. So, like, if it were all just squished together. Oh, my God. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Oh, I wonder if I just need to go back at this point and the ask the scientist guy. Tetrahedron. Is that the next move? Too bad, old bloke. That's not the answer.
I think I have to do something parody. Tetrahedron? Tetrahedron! A four-sided solid! Ah! Tetrahedron? Tetrahedron! A four-sided solid! Ah! Stop! Yeah, just the Excuse principle me. of flying Tetra around that much seems like a problem. Listen. Yes. I'd really like to explore the temple. Yeah, I think I have an idea. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. I don't know the title. Title! <laughs> just carbon footprint is unreasonable. How many folks out there saw the uh, Dial of Destiny? I enjoyed it. Title? Hermocrates, a friend of Socrates. Not the best. Not the second best or the third best, but it was perfectly Stop. fine. It's easily the fourth best. Only accredited researchers are allowed in. I dug it. I liked Fleabag. I thought she was really good. Listen. So much better than the last one. Yes. I hate that it just totally tell bombed. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. The Hermocrates. That's it. That's it. Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. You guys understand that the Dial of Destiny bombed hardcore, right? I don't trust this guy, Indy. Like, I didn't make back its budget kind of bombing, maybe? Come on. Here we are. Let's see what you can do. I enjoyed Dial of Destiny, too. I thought it was pretty good. You are going... I mean, for a Indiana Jones movie made in the 21st century, I feel like you're not going to do a lot better than that. Professor. Yeah. That's right. I think it'll take a good 76 years before we can top it. What was the purpose of this chamber? You have yeah, it was there. tenacious D and B's. Crypt. Then it was not your thing. Professor. Yes. Oh, so much better than Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I don't want to turn this into a Jess Dunks on Ghostbusters Frozen Empire stream. I liked Ghostbusters Afterlife a lot. I was really excited to see what they did with that cast of characters. What they did with them was terrible. Don't you have to keep an eye on your store? Don't listen to me, though. I like the Star Wars oh, sequels. Sure I just like everything except you. Ghostbusters and Frozen Empire. Listen. Yes? So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Yeah, I didn't care for the crystal skull either. But like that's not a hot take on my I part. Can't move but... it. Well, that doesn't work. Hmm, the spiraling shape will make me go insane. <laughs> Oh man, expect problems. If you didn't like the reliance on the old Ghostbusters, you will definitely not like Frozen Empire. Uh, Ricky redeems Ash Jess anything. Do you hate the new Ghostbusters movie more than Peanut Butter and Trail Mix? Um, no, I would not eat peanut butter. Like, I wouldn't eat peanut butter if I had any choice to survive. And I certainly wouldn't like peanut buttery bits in my Trail Mix. You know, I'm picky about my Trail Mix. Uh, I, have, uh, I like all the standard ingredients of trail mix. I like raisins, I like dry chow mein noodles, and I like miniature marshmallows. The classic, you know, they call it the trinity in the uh, trail mix business. Um, but yeah, the um, I would rather watch the Ghostbusters movie than ever come into close contact with peanut butter. Although lately, you know, as much as I dislike peanut butter, I've been making my daughter smoothies for breakfast every morning and 
putting Greek yogurt in them. And I think that yogurt, as I smell it every morning, is approaching peanut butter levels for me. I think that when I lay on my deathbed someday and my time on this planet is drawing to a close, and I'm about to shuffle off this mortal coil, I feel like someone's gonna walk up to me and say, Jess, we were all just pretending to like yogurt. Uh, and we'll all have a good laugh and then I will just die. Uh, that will be the end of me. And I will finally understand why people were eating yogurt all along. That's my personal guess. And then I will, then I'll die. Yeah, I know, I know it's me. I can't move it. I just can't, oh, I can't do it. The smell in the Sophia, morning. So oh. let's talk. What's up? I think it's just like straight up yogurt. Like you give me a yogurt sauce on something, like you give me a tzatziki sauce, absolutely. Give me that all day long. You give me some like, you know, yogurt sauces to go with uh, with Indian food, absolutely. Like eating like yogurt with a spoon out of a little cup. I don't know, flavored plain, any of it, Ugh, can't do it. Keep those probiotics out of me, Jamie Lee Curtis. Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. Dr. Sternhardt, I'd like to speak to you. Okay, now yogurt with salt and chopped chili is maybe... Now I'm intrigued. Now you've got me. Excuse me, won't you? I don't think that'll work. Let's see what your friend is up to. Hmm, okay. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Could you try and keep Sternhardt busy again? <sighs> again? He's such a windbag. Don't like tzatziki or sour cream. Doctor. How about creme fraiche? Excuse me, won't you? Well, that doesn't work. Let's see what your friend is up to. Wow. He really isn't Excuse distracted me, for Sophia. long. What's up? Could you try and keep Sternhart busy again? <sighs> again? He's such a windbag. I'm sorry. I've got another question for you, Doctor. This feels like a quick timer to me, but who knows? Excuse me, won't you? Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. Let's see what your friend is up to. What am I actually supposed to do here? Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Wait for me, old bean. <coughs> Sorry, old chum. That lamp's a part of my shop. I can't let you have that. Hold up there, friend. Well, any ideas yet? Excuse me, Sophia. Yes, Sophia. What's up? Could you try and keep Sternhardt busy again? <sighs> again? He's such a windbag. I've got another question for you, Doctor. Good thing that pest Sternhardt's not around. Haha, <laughs> stolen. Better not spill the kerosene. Hmm. Excuse me. Better not spill the kerosene. So, you took my lamp, eh? Yes. I hope you know what you're doing. Let's see what your friend is up to. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Oh, really? Remarkable. A solvent, Lucian. 
I can't move it. Now I got it. Oh. Marvelous. Really? Okay. What now? Hmm. It's a stone carving. I mean, I can see that. Sophia, let's talk. Sophia. What's up? Rap with me. What do we do now? Let's keep looking. No, thanks. I don't want it. Fine, be like that. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Well, that doesn't seem to work. I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. What now? I can't move it. It fits perfectly. Ah, perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. I solved it. Amazing. I've done it, gang. It's a good time to save. But I made a lot of process progress. When I elephant like that one Black Eyed Peas album. Look at that. Look. Astonishing. Mm, it's a Knight Templar. Seen this Next before. Told, the tomb of an Atlantean king. Oh, Atlantean king. Here's a small stone disc with images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a world stone. A world stone? At last I have the thing. Goodbye, fellow seekers. Wait. Uh -oh. oh no, he got away. Ah, oh, beans. There's a shiny bead. He didn't see the main thing. Too bad for Sternhart. He missed the Auric Alchem bean. Yes, the Orgata bean. Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. I mean, anything's possible. Here, uh, take this bead, no? Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Imagine having a secret door at work to just nope into. I'm running this on scum, Ricky. What do we do now? With all kinds Let's of enhancements on. and bug fixes turned on, supposedly. It won't budge. It won't budge. My office has two secret doors, but they're technically just seventh floor windows. They really use once kind of secret doors. Single use on those. Okay, are we maybe done here? Word from home on my room secret. I mean, that's the, that's the uh, true secret. All right, let's use this truck. Let's find the airport. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. Ah, oh, beans. This guy's guys in rough shape. It looked like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. Gross. Too bad, he's frozen solid. A little <laughs> too dedicated to his work, I guess. <laughs> Indian Joe's just heartless there, man. Looking at a dead man. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Too bad, that's right. You're just joining us, by the way. Welcome, man. You're here for Indiana Jones, the Fave of Atlantis. I'm so glad you could be here. If you're watching this later on, on the VOD, glad you could tune in too. He was a real jerk. I mean, this is true. He's just Heimdall dating. I can't move it. 
doing shattering. I don't think that'll work. Oh wait, I'll just kerosene him out. Seem to work. Okay. Use B. It fits perfectly. Whoa! Whoa! Look, it melted itself right out of the ice. Well, I was way better at getting this ill figure than he was. You want this? Eh, uh, you want an ill? Aw, oh, beads. It's a derpy looking snake. Uh, let's see here. Alright, so uh, we got an eel, is the good news. Uh, maybe we're ready to make like a Grayson and go to the Azores. Let's head for the airport. Oh, pretty. Grayson didn't look like this. Let's not try to notify Heimdall's family or anything like that. He got what was coming to him. See ya, corpse boy. This is his house? This is it. Now, Grayson, if you're still around, in your experience, was the Azores just one door and a small patio? Azores. That umbrella in my inventory. By the way, if we need to see another stock photo Indiana Jones image, just give me the word. I've got all kinds of them ready to go. Mr. Costa? Pipe down. I'm coming. Be firm, but polite. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Let's find leather jackets, you jerk. Oh, hey, what you know, Metallic. <laughs> Metallic redeems. Indiana Jones stock photo review. Of course, this is where we're diving into the stock photo library of uh, of uh, our fine friends Adobe, looking for images that were tagged as Indiana Jones. Um, and then we're scoring them based on how Indiana Jonesy they are. So this one, I'm really curious about your all's thoughts on. I think this is one of the more interesting ones that popped up. Uh, just on a scale of one to 10, how much of a representation of either the character Indiana Jones or the vibe of the series of Indiana Jones or just like the franchise in abstract. Grayson says 10 already. Okay, Grayson. Uh, Grayson's called it a 10. Here's what we have. This is tagged as Indiana Jones in the Adobe stock photo database. So this one I have questions about. No, I'm sorry, Grayson. You already said that's a 10. You already said this guy who is tagged as Indiana Jones in the Adobe stock photo database. Um, Grayson says this is the most anyone could look like Indiana Jones. Harrison Ford is a nine on this scale. So Grayson says this looks more like Indiana Jones than Indiana Jones. Um, but I'm curious, can someone help me on this one? What do we think caused the people uploading this to decide, okay, I've got some tags for this. Uh, one of them should be Indiana Jones. Why should this be tagged instead? Hippie cult leader? Biker wizard? I like this answer. Hallucinogens. <laughs> Indiana Jones is the pick of destiny. Maybe so. Yeah, I feel like hippie cult leader, but not Charles Manson. Like, would be how I would tag this. It would be hippie cult leader, parentheses, not Charles Manson. Uh, meth, not even once. <laughs> how great would it have been if Dial of Destiny had picked up with Indy and he looked like this? Um, like, this would be, uh, this just fascinates me. I mean, first of all, look at that vest. That thing is fantastic. Like, I feel like you need to be a pro wrestler to pull off a vest like that. And even then, not just any pro wrestler. We've got the headband. It's got Burning Man energy. Tell me, what do you think about the letters 
on his very wide leg jeans. Those things have a nice flair to them. I guess I envy the confidence. I mean, yeah, there's that. Uh, I, I can see that. Um, like, is it supposed to be Kiss? Are we supposed to assume it's his favorite rock group, Kiss? He's got Ace Freely. He's got Peter Chris waiting there for him in his pants. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's just Indian Jones had he not gotten tenure. <laughs> Maybe that's it, Cree. <laughs> this is this is untenured. This is this has failed his third year review, Indiana Jones. Um I keep seeing this weird coat thing. Is two sharks on his back, their tails coming out of either side. I mean, yes, that's I can see where you'd get that. Um I mean, low-key a little jealous of how impressively hairy his chest is. I wish I could pull off uh that. And again, the confidence is something. But yeah, I don't know why this is tagged Indiana Jones, but uh, there you have it. This is from the Adobe Stock Photo Database. I'm going to give this one give it a 1.5. Like, I feel like it could look less like Indiana Jones, like maybe if it were an inanimate object uh, or something like that. So, yeah, it's the smoldering stare that makes it uncomfortable. Yeah, I let the mouth slightly agape. I don't know. Oh, Gate more like agape. That's a Greek joke for you. A little bit of ancient Greek humor. You have a bathroom in there I could use? Yes and no. Now go away. Pass by a church called agape in your travels. There you go. Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. That's humor with a U. Yeah, sure. Definitely humor with a U. Mr. Costa? Confident knock. You again? What do you want? I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? Maybe so, maybe no. I'm Indiana Jones. I'm Costa, and I'm tired of talking to you. Man, I end so many conversations Indiana, that way. What kind of stupid name is that? I don't want to hear a word. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? What do you want? I hear you know something about Atlantis. Ha! Ha! Wouldn't tell you if ah, I did. Ah, Come on, I'm a fellow believer. Call me Davy That's Jones, because right. you know I'm a fellow Atlantis believer. Is? Sorry, I actually call me Mickey Dolans, I guess. Well, yes, of course I do. Oh, do tell! Way down below the ocean. Under the ocean? No, no, no. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. You're standing on it. <clears throat> the Azores? No one believes me. That hurts. Don't say anything. That's Deluvian Baby. Mr. Costa? Leave me alone. What path are we taking? Good to see you, Sith so Princess. I think I'm going to take the team path is my goal here, but uh, not quite sure yet. Listen. Yes? What's the closest to the Azores you've been? Okay, this is a great question. Let me pull up a world map here. Thank you, Kevin, for asking this. Uh, let's see. The Azores. The closest to the Azores I've been. I'm going to say the closest to the Azores I've been would be Charles de Gaulle Airport in France. <laughs> that's going to that's gonna be my official answer. Um, that would be the furthest west I've been in Europe 
which I believe will put me closest to the Azores. Uh, so yeah, when I was staying in Charles de Gaulle Airport, that is the closest I've ever been. You should visit the Azores. I mean, everybody's talking about the Azores lately. I'm kind of thinking about it. Here, you talk to the man. Yeah, Andy does uh, use all his frequent flyer miles in this uh, in this game. Mr. Costa, this better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. I need to tell this to somebody because it's just been like burning up my mind for the past couple of days. So my daughter's playing uh, Little League softball again this season and her team had a scrimmage last week in their first real game tonight. And during her scrimmage, like I was talking to her outside the dugout between innings and I told her, it's like, you know, when you hit that ball, you know, really just, I want you just like running as hard as you can. Just like, you know, like nothing can stop you. You know, nothing can stand your way. And she said, yeah, like a train. And I say, exactly like a really like serious train. And she said, yeah, like a murder train. And I said, exactly like a murder train. So tonight, uh, she hit a grounder to third base and managed to leg it out. She got uh, got to first, she was safe, got a nice base hit out of it. And uh, when she came in uh, at the end of the inning after having gotten her hit, she just walked by me over near the dugout and just whispered, murder tray. So <laughs> there you go, that's, that's, my, that's my fun softball story. <laughs> <laughs> than that. For some reason now, murder train is how you run the bases. So, I don't know. I guess it's fine. <laughs> I hope my friend didn't pester Pro you too coaching much. Strats. He's a friend of yours? Well, no. He didn't pester me that much. Actually, he's named after the family dog. Man, Sophia. dunking on him. See? Hmm, I see. Murder train. What can you tell us about Atlantis? I already told your friend. This is Atlantis. You found it right here in the Azores. That's right. I make a review film, but rather than film of like the opposing team or whatever, it's just making her watch my Twitch streams of Super Mega Baseball 4. I'm back in the film room. I mean, that helps my metrics on YouTube as well. So, you know, every view counts. What happened to the Atlanteans? Well, hey, Gary, good to see you. Luck, demons and devils, and they left. Good to see everyone. However, their spirits have personally told me it was mostly bad luck. An Eight Legs murder train game there should be. Are you going to stream more B-movie game? I wish. You know, I was joking earlier today on the Discord. Uh, for some reason, my uh, Beavis and Butthead Bunghole in One mini golf stream is doing better on YouTube than my average video does. I can't imagine why, uh, but I joked that maybe I should just become a full time Bunghole in One streamer. <laughs> what do you mean, bad luck? Fire, flood, pestilence, the usual things. Oh, you know, the usual. The usual. What led you to place Atlantis in the Azores? I didn't place anything. It's just the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. Plato's lost dialogue spelled it out in plain Greek. What's in this lost dialogue you mentioned? Why, it's the last word on Atlantis, young lady. Hmm. Do you know what's in it? Yes. Nope. Do you have it? Nope. <laughs> have you read it? Not exactly. 
Can you get it for me? Sorry. I really dig the LucasArts humor in this one. I feel like it really has that early LucasArts, well, not early LucasArts, I guess mid-period LucasArts, like the Monkey Island era of humor that uh, I just love. It's good stuff. This is a great game. I'm here for it. Do you it. know where we could find it? The Golden Age, well, there you go. That depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. Before monkey combat. My necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Otherwise, we'll have to Chrono John an inventory item everyone. over to Sophia. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madame. Don't be a stranger now. TTFN. Ta ta for now. Trade, huh? Listen. Yes? Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. How are we doing on world record times, Mr. by the Costa? way? Are we there? You again? Maybe what this stock you photo thing slowed us down now that I think about it. Let's talk about a trade. Okay. What Zach and Maniac or Silver Age? I mean, maybe. This is Azor's percent speed run, that's right. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. Now that looks interesting. I practically pried it from the hands You've of a dead a deal, man. Mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... The lost dialogue of Plato is in the Pierce collection, got that? Pierce. I think so, the Pierce collection. Very good. Nice doing business with you. Pierce Collection. That's actually something that's Pierce like collection. randomized that I need to remember, right? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Pierce Collection. I like fancy being a college teacher with a job. You know, Dr. Uberman. like, Fantastic news. I've always Come. joked with people that I'm the one kid that saw Indiana Jones and walked out of it instead of thinking, oh, it'd be awesome to be an archaeologist. I walked out of it thinking, man, it'd be awesome to be a college professor. And <laughs> that's, that's not entirely untrue. Like, that absolutely is uh, something <laughs> that that's the effect Indiana Jones had on me. Why did Atlanta stories always assume it has advanced technology or magic or whatever? Is there any Atlanta story where it's just a place that sucks? This is a great question. Where are all the stories of an unimpressive Atlantis that nobody's upset sunk under the ocean? Where's the, where's that story? Yeah, women with their writing, I love you, on their eyelids is what I was looking for. That, you know, I've been teaching college classes since 1999. 25 full years now. A quarter of a century I've taught college classes. And... uh that's uh, that's yet to happen. I believe Plato's dialogues actually are critical of Atlantis. Do they say it sucks or it's just like See what like morally bankrupt. Provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? You fool! You come back to show me this 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 prehistoric knickknack? Herr Doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the lost city. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of some magical metal Plato called Orichalcum! Orichalcum! Look up. here, concealed in the base is a small shiny bead. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never get it. We must test. Yes. We'll just hook up some electrodes. My God. We've done it. Technology of uranium without any radioactivity. And those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. Suppose I place the bead inside the statue's open mouth.
Wow, you look at that. You saw that? I did. Think of trucks powered by these beads. Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. Ooh, the lost city. Indiana Jones romancing the stone. I like those vibes. Think big like the America. Man, I love romancing the stone. What a good movie. Murder that's your solution and everything, but something the statue's open mouth. <laughs> Where are these paths going to so start why are you branching? Me in here? Plato's lost dialogue should be here somewhere. Need some help? Yes, please, it's scary in here. <laughs> Save the sarcasm, Jones. I'll meet you in your wow. office. We're doing the we're absolutely doing the romance path. I'm looking for the option that offers the most kissing. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. There's nothing of importance here. There's nothing of importance here. You think a college would know why it has? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not so sure. I think I've read them all. I don't need them. They're just textbooks. I think that is giving colleges too much credit. Great, you know I'm going to push that. It's locked. I can't pick that up. I can't push it any further. The floor isn't slippery enough. It won't move. Hmm. I can't pick that up. Well, that doesn't seem to work. Curious. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. That gaping hole. There it is. Not slippery for a hit. I would think so. Hey! Goodness gracious, just here when I was in the middle of struggling. Welcome in, Raiders. Let me give a shout out here to Paler Zan. Thank you so much for the raid. Cheers, everyone. Thank you, Morton. Welcome in. Uh, how are you doing, Raiders? I'm Decap Jetta. Uh, it's Retro Adventure Wednesday, and we are streaming a little bit of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. So glad you could be here. It's my first time playing this one. LucasArts classic, of course. Uh, howdy, Morton. How howdy, Paler Zan. Thank you so much for the raid. Everyone head over and, uh, and give Paler Zan a uh, follow. Overclocked, a history of violence. I don't know that one. How was the game? How was your stream tonight? Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Wicked story. Yeah, I'm not even sure I've heard of that one. 
Never have too much coal. I believe I have some on my shelf over here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's important to keep coal on your shelves. Can't say much or you'll spoil it. I'll have to look it up. That's, uh, that's already intriguing. It says, for sale, Woodstock typewriter with floating carriage, 50 bucks. A shrink that has to interrogate four teams with amnesia. Interesting. Well, welcome in. Thank you again for the raid. I hope you're having a terrific Wednesday. Uh... Well, don't just stand there. Go find Plato's Lost Dialogue. A lot of dark themes. Got it. Icebox. Phew. Guess I should have cleaned it out. A jar. I guess it's mayonnaise, but it looks like used motor oil. Oh, now that is promising. As a coal miner's daughter, you must have coal. I mean, absolutely. That's why I have it. Nothing useful in here. It's got mean to put a trunk in a game and then not have anything in it. Nothing up here but a few broken pots. Okay. I mean, honestly, like, aren't broken pots, like, the main thing that archaeologists care about? My understanding of the field of archaeology is it's mostly broken pots. She's very dismissive of them. Archaeologist was the career that at one point I imagined for myself. And then I went to a college that just didn't have an archaeology or an anthropology program. And, uh... It never happened, but uh, boy, that would have been something I would have loved to have studied. Gloop. That's a great sound effect. What did I accomplish by doing that? Wait. There we go. There we go. I don't want to disturb it any more than necessary. Ashes, you say? Seems like there's something loose in here. Ashes to ashes, dust a to key? dust. A key, eh? We solving these puzzles, gang. This is how we do it. The chest is empty. What? What? Hmm. side apartment not laid out like this no it is not it is not
Oh, Ricky, thank you for redeeming Indiana Jones stock photo review. <laughs> I was hoping this would get me out of a tough puzzle jam. So here we are again. If you're just joining us, we've been having a lot of fun tonight. I uh, went through Adobe stock photo library and found prior to stream a bunch of images that were tagged with Indiana Jones. So all of these images purport to be Indiana Jones. And we've been going through, we've been looking at them. And we have been scoring them on a scale of 1 to 10 in terms of how effectively they capture the Indiana Jones vibe. So here's our most recent one, drawn from the Adobe Stock Photo Library. What do we think about this guy? Now, here's some things I like about this. I like the shirt. I think the shirt is very good. Now, Grayson, you ask if this one's AI. This model appears a lot. So I'm guessing it is not AI. I think this is a real one. Um, I th just because they have several different shots, several different poses of this same guy. So, and usually AI is not good at creating the same thing. Shirt's good. Shirt is almost spot on. Good job. But you're absolutely right, Paul. It looks like he borrowed this jacket from his dad. This is an oversized jacket that is not working for Indiana Jones here. I mean, even like the sleeve over there, on his left arm. Like, look at that huge gap. It's like a wizard sleeve uh, between uh, his hand and uh, the sleeve of the coat. It's very light. It's almost like a duster. And yes, Paul, you notice the other thing here. That is also a rope. Um, that is um, is definitely a rope and not a whip. Um, but yeah, he's a very tense neck. It looks like you could really cramp up there by doing that. He's very intense, but I mean, the shirt is definitely there. Uh, shirt's there. Pants are all right. Jacket's too big. Hat's okay. It's not quite right, the hat, but it's close. The rope in the hand is less than ideal. Why do we grade this one on a scale of one to 10? Do we think this, I mean, again, compared to the last one, I mean, if you've forgotten the last one, let me just, uh, let me just quickly remind you, this was the last image that was tagged as Indiana Jones. So if that was a 1.5, what is this guy? I feel like he is a solid 7.5, maybe. I mean, the fixes are simple. You're exactly right. Set, yeah, Morton, I'm with you. I feel like this is a 7.5. This is well on its way to be an Indiana Jones. I think it's the best one we've seen tonight, uh, notably. So, yeah, that's not a bad Indiana Jones. Good job, Stock Photo Library. Thank you for redeeming that, Ricky. All right. Well, this is paying off. We're getting lots of good Indiana Joneses. Even the background's good. Simple but believable scene. Yeah, that one felt like probably stock photography that someone actually paid a little bit for. It must be made out of lead. There. What did I do? <clears throat> I think it's fine right where it is. It doesn't seem to open. It's full of air. Huh. Hmm, where do I need to go to? What have I done wrong here? I can't pick that up. What am I missing? Glad these stock photos are paying off. I've been very happy with them. It's an old lecture hall desk, complete with a wad of gum, I'll bet. Oh. It sure is gooey. 
Oh, it sure is gooey. Sure is gooey, he says. It's too slippery to walk up. It's too slippery to walk up. It's too slippery to walk. It's too slippery to walk. It's too slippery. 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 It's too slippery to walk up. I think I'll stick this on my shoes for traction. That makes sense. Now this is an adventure gaming now. What do you know? The gum works. This is great. That's amazing. It's much too heavy to carry. It's much too heavy to carry. It's made out of wax. Mm -hmm. These aren't the books I'm looking for. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. All right, vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. Miscellaneous antique vases. It seems to be locked. Hey, this is a skeleton. I don't think game. that'll work. It seems to be locked. It seems to be locked. Their drawers. Yeah, I assumed. Ah, uh, let's see here. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. I believe it's part of the old Ward collection. It doesn't seem to open. Gang, what do we do now? Off the inside of bookshelf. Ha! I did look at the cats. Fart around the wrong collections. Good. Good, 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 good. Gotta bring this thing over a landing soon. It's getting later out here, gang. Okay? Oh, wait, Arrowhead. I guess that's some nice different color there. Now maybe use that to unscrew the screws. Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. Ah! It's an arrow that works. Soiled rag wrapped around it. It's unscrewed. That didn't do anything. They're really MacGyver in this now. It's unscrewed. This was like one of those LucasArts moments where normally after you did the first couple, they would just go ahead and let you automatically do all of them. It's unscrewed. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. I did it! I think Dang did it. Well, let's read it, and then we'll know everything about Plato. Hmm. Ooh, well, there you go.
Mm-hmm. We're hearing a child's tale, he says. But I see all that. Wow, look at all this stuff. Lots of content. Okay. Perfect, I like that. That's kind of cool. Okay, now we have it. Do we go to Sophia? All of this is important. That's good to know. In our archive, this is horrified by the paper clips. Yes. Okay, let's talk to Sophia, maybe? I got it. I found Plato's lost dialogue. Really? Our jump I need to save, maybe, in case... Uncle friend Sternhardt is quite the scholar. Let me see! Yep, there it is. Hard to believe, isn't it? I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. That makes a lot of sense. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He you may told be me right. He came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Hey, Paley Zan, thank you again for the raid. I'm almost ready to call it a night, too, so. It's a good time to take a break. Good old Nurab Sal. I'm starting to like him. Wait, quiet. I think I'm getting something. <laughs> so, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. It's like I Atlantis. Think I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. Mm -hmm. I bought it from Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo. Alan Trotter, got it. Why should he help us? Or was it Omar Al Jabbar in Algiers? Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. We need all three stones. Mm. If we want to find Atlantis. The three trials, you say. I'm ready to go. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Ooh. Look into my eyes. Yes? Deep into my eyes. Uh-huh, uh-huh. For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. Thank you. You possess great strength of character. Mm hmm? You are resourceful. That's me. You trust others and want them to trust you. Absolutely. The most promising path to Atlantis, therefore, is the one we both must take together as a team. Ah, here we are. All right, I'm convinced. We're taking the team along. path. Then let's go, partner. We want as much Sophia as we can get. Let's get going. We can still catch to This is the part of the movie where Indy gets into the adventure. He was skeptical at first. Romantic. I haven't played this before, but I've been around LucasArts spaces enough and just adventure game fandom enough to know that this the three paths of this one. So yeah, I haven't played it before. This is all new to me. But I'm aware that yeah, this is where the paths kick in. Oh, 
All right. You know what? Now that we've chosen a well, path, here we are. I think this is a good point to save. Let's save here. We're going to say Algiers. Yes, rest your hands. Thank you, Paul. That's perfect. Good timing. Uh, we clocked in right at two hours, which is where we wanted to be. And I want to thank you all for joining me tonight. Man, I'm loving this game. This is good stuff. I'm having... Uh, oh, I went to Monte Carlo. Close enough. <laughs> That's close. <laughs> thank you for joining me. This was a real pleasure. I'm loving it. It's good times. Um, thank you for joining me on this adventure. Now, my goal is probably, uh, I'll definitely be playing this again on next retro adventure Wednesday. My next stream, I think will probably be Friday night. I plan to jump in and play a little bit more of uh, Minecraft story mode. We're reaching episode four there. We've been having a lot of fun with that. So that's coming up. And, uh, in the meantime, uh, please feel free, uh, to, uh, to drop a follow if this is your first time here. And I hope to see you back again soon now let's see where to raid to uh you know cylon by the sea is streaming phantasmagoria another fine adventure game uh beloved by pretty much everyone there's no one out there you can find that say phantasmagoria is anything less than a fantastic great game so let's raid over there and say hello to cylon by the sea uh be sure to drop a follow there too she's a really fun streamer thank you all again for joining me thanks for the raids Thanks for the hangs, and uh, yeah, this was uh, this was awesome. I can't wait to see you again next week, playing a little bit more of this. Uh, in the meantime, uh, one last plug. You know, if you uh, if you enjoy hanging out with people who love adventure games and love to talk about them, a fun, inclusive, friendly environment, drop by and join our Discord. It's a great place to keep up with all the rate, latest streams. But for now, I will really clear out, and we'll send you on your raid. Take care, everybody. Happy Retro Adventure Wednesday.